Hey, Chat GPT. I just read an article about the education of student in East Asia, and it seems that if I work 12 hours a day and I think that I'm hardworking, this is nothing compared to the standard in East Asia if you are studying or if you are in school. Can you explain the principle of 996 to me? 996 is a work schedule commonly used in China in the tech industry. Work schedule where employees work from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., six days a week. 72 hours work week, higher than any 40 hour week that is commonly used in Europe. As some controversial topics, oh yeah, I can imagine. It leads to burnout, health problems, poor work balance. It is not a standard for all jobs or all regions in East Asia. Interesting. Hey, ChatGPT, I would like that you summarize the following YouTube video for me and give me a short overview of the most important items from the content. The video link is It is interesting. This is a video that was uh, shown to me by YouTube when I was searching here for work ethics and the competition here in East Asia and Europe and US. So highly interesting. My goodness, I think we in Europe, we are really here in the land of the beautiful and unbelievable. The competition in China and East Asia seems to be neck breaking. Have a look what VoxScript will summarize the video for us. So here we go. Where China's youth are lying flat, refusing to work. Work culture in China. Involution and a make out game. Concept of involution by meaningless competition between individuals. Making out is a metaphor for the capitalist system where workers compete against each other, pushing their limits to get ahead, while the employer benefits from their effort. Impact on students. Discusses the impact of hyper-competitive environment on students. Top university in China who were seen studying while performing other tasks. Competition is so intense that it affects not just academics, but social dynamics among students. Lack of innovation. The video points out that the intense focus on marks in competition has led to a standardization of answers. And a lack of innovation. Yeah, of course. I mean, if you are pressed to the maximum, you are looking for a solution. So you go to the peers of the year above you and you... Ask for the answers, the standardization of answers. In the Chinese education system, which is heavily focused on marks, doesn't encourage students to take risk or explore their interest. Interesting. Sometimes I'm really amazed what you can find here on the internet. And then tools, AI tools like ChatGPT and with different modules are make it so much easier to get fast and deeper understanding. Also, I'm here on the other side of the globe. I'm interested in this because it motivates me here in Europe, sitting here in my plum budding, thinking that I work hard. My goodness. People feeling hopeless, leading to a sense of burnout and despair. I have to say, I do admire all the Chinese students for their hard work. It is amazing what work they put in. Can you compare now the content of this video to the relaxed European way of studying or maybe even to the American way of life if you are a student at a Ivory League university? General observation, East Asia, as described in the video, East Asia, particularly in China, high pressure academic environments. 
intense competition, long study hours, on route learning, high test scores, confirming to established norms, stifle creativity and innovation. Europe. In Europe, there's often a more balanced approach to education while achieving academics value. There's a strong emphasis on student well being, creativity, critical thinking, and work life balance. Yeah, maybe a little bit too much work life balance. Finland, which is renewed for its education system, school days are shorter, homework is less, and there's a focus on holistic development. Interesting. United States, Ivy League, Ivy League universities in the US are known for their rigorous academic standards, face high levels of competition and stress similar to their counterpart in East Asia. However, there's also a strong emphasis on holistic development, extracurricular activities, leadership, and innovation. The culture encouraged questioning established norm and thinking out of the box. The workload can be intense, but there's also focus on maintaining a balance with social activity and networking. In all three regions, the experience can vary greatly depending on a specific institution, the field of study, and individual circumstances. Ongoing debates in all of this region about the best approach to education and how to prepare students. What is the potential positive, the benefit of AI systems like Jet GPT for this highly competitive education system? Can an AI system here provide faster access to information so that people are not worked out and have not burnout when they are studying at the, at the university? What is the overall potential of AI in the educational sector? Significant potential for the AI system to transform the educational sector, high pressure environments, personalized learning. AI can adapt to the student's individual learning style and pace, providing personalized instruction that meet their unique needs. This can help students grasp concepts more effectively and reduce the stress. Instant access to information, instant access to vast amount of information, easier for students to research topics. AI can automatic grading and provide instant feedback, helping students to understand their strengths and their weaknesses and adjust their study strategies accordingly. Tutoring. AI can provide tutoring support outside of school hours, helping students with homework, exam preparation, particularly beneficial in high pressure educational environments where students may feel the need to study around the clock. I, I know a couple and their son is studying almost every weekday till two o'clock in the morning. This is amazing. Mental health support. Yeah, I can provide mental health support. Career guidance. Analyze student interest, skills, academic performance to provide personalized career guidance. Can help students make more informed decisions about their future and reduce anxiety about career prospects. AI can provide tools to help students manage their time more effectively, stay organized, and increase productivity. Well, there's a positive and a negative side to this. Can help reduce workload and prevent burnout. AI has a significant potential to improve education and reduce pressure on students. It is also important to use it responsively. Absolutely. AI yeah, is seen as a human tool to enhance education, not replace human elements of teaching and learning. Absolutely fascinating times. Amazing. I mean, on the one hand, I think it would be amazing to study right now, to be 18 again, and have all those technological augmentations like AI. But on the other hand, my goodness, my goodness, interesting. AI will become part of our life, part of our education, and part of our professional career. So better we learn how to use it instead of whatever else.